My name's Steve Clifford, and for the last eight months, I've been the general director of the Evangelical Alliance. Who would have imagined that for the last year, 18 months, we've been through what has to be one of the most remarkable periods of history, the loss of confidence in our financial institutions, the near bankruptcy of those banks that we just knew were going to exist forever, but they weren't within perhaps two or three hours of having to close down the cash points. The loss of confidence in our democratic institutions, where the expenses scandal has resulted in such a deep level of cynicism in the relation to our politicians. And even in our religious institutions, with the news recently coming from Ireland of the abuse of children associated with the church. Tragic record. Yet I want to suggest this is an opportunity for us to engage in a conversation as to the kind of society that we want, not just for the next five, ten years, but for 50 years from now. For our children's children, what kind of world do we want to see for them? We need to be engaging in that conversation. It's a time for humble boldness, not a time for fear. At the Evangelical Alliance, we're about uniting to change society. That's why it's really important that we're engaging in this conversation, this big conversation regarding the future of our society, our nation. Week in and week out, members of our team are working in Westminster, in the assemblies, in Stormont, engaging with conversations with politicians and civil servants. But it's not just about us, it's actually about the Church of Jesus Christ being good news in their communities, in your communities. That's why it's simplified. Life Beyond Debt, Square Mile are really important resources that we're providing to enable you to be good news in your community. We're about resourcing, supporting and cheering you on. Of course there's so many stories that are going to be told about 2009 but the greatest story remains that God didn't abandon us to our own devices. He sent his son Jesus, the Christ, to be our saviour, to be the saviour of the world. So let me take this opportunity as we come to the end of 2009 to wish you a really happy Christmas and a hope-filled New Year.